All right, with the uh, recent rain, I haven't been able to get out and do much herping. Uh, so what I'm doing is kind of checking some of my habitats and seeing, in addition to the things like these Gulf Coast box turtles, seeing what else might be in here with them and what's going to be living around the yard. So let's see, I think there may be a salamander under this. So let's check and see. Yep, two, three, two, three line salamanders. See them right there. That's pretty sick. I really like that. I like that there's salamanders in my yard. Um, that's something that you kind of don't always expect. So when you get to see them, it's really cool. So I'm gonna put this piece of cover back. All right, here's another thing I can flip. Let's see what's under it. Uh, I don't really see anything. Put this back. I'll move to this one. And we'll see what is under here. And a stick fell. There's a green frog hiding under this one. That's pretty cool too. So the amphibians have really taken advantage of these pieces of cover. I'm just gonna put that back, leave him there. All right, out here after all the rain, seeing who's out. Got a few little frogs, this guy, hanging out over here, this pool. Let's see if there's anything around. Just kind of shining tonight, see what I can come up with. <laughs> See you later. Hey, little guy. That's a young one. Got a, uh, another little mammal friend. It's a little raccoon. He's sitting there washing off whatever he's gonna eat. They like to wash their food before they eat it. He looks like pretty young. He's not very big. Oh, you gonna swim? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm just passing through. These guys have become quite common here in Georgia and I actually have a lot of them in my yard come across them quite a bit. So the common name for these guys is hammerhead flatworm. You can kind of see where they get that name from, from that hammerhead shaped uh, head appendage that they have. And these guys can actually get really big. In some places they can get uh, grotesquely large. All right, so I've not seen this before. It's like one of these invasive worms has got a hold of one of our native earthworms and I'm guessing feeding upon it. Never actually seen that before. And giving him a real hard time. So if I had to guess, I would say the earthworm is not gonna make it through this. But totally bizarre and you know, the, the yellow worm is not a native. So that is an invasive species and here it is, taking out one of our native species. Uh, I mean, earthworms really are kind of the, uh, you know, the snack for just about everything in the habitat, but it does suck to see some non-native, you know, be the one getting it as opposed to something that's supposed to be here. But that is some crazy stuff, man. I've never seen this before. actually got a small snake on the move. This is a ringneck snake and these guys are um, a little colubrid. This one's a baby, um, about half grown. And these guys actually are rear fanged and they have a mild venom that's, I would imagine, toxic only to insects and worms and stuff like that. Um, this guy's just out seeing what he can kind of find. And the ringneck snake is really, really cool. They're actually really pretty on the bottom. They have a bright orange or yellow with little half moons and they flip that up to ward off predators. There you go, you can kind of see that underside right there, really bright. And he 
he's just gonna ski daddle. I'll let him kind of keep going on his way. But I did want to show you guys that brightly colored underside. And uh, it's just so signature of the ringneck snake. So pretty cool find. Haven't seen one of those in a while, so pretty stoked. All right, I'm out by myself tonight. Just decided uh, weather felt right to go out and maybe do a little bit of solo night shining, see if uh, we see any turtles tonight. So just checking some of my usual spots. Maybe see some usual turtles, maybe see some unusual turtles. Let's see what's out. So far a uh, nice little Midland water snake. And let's see what else we got. Next little Midland water snake of the night. He's out looking for food. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Keep on rolling. All right, got a stink pot right here. Kind of foraging in some plants. Kind of go on its way. Just down from that one is another stink pot. This one also is going to be eating. We can use some stuff in the kind of algae type plants. Got a big girl Nerodia right here. That is a pretty snake. Just hanging out, flattening out, hoping that I'll leave her alone and won't bother her. And I don't plan on bothering her, so I'm gonna let her kind of slip off. Just like a water snake should. Right. Got a young cooter hanging onto some branches right here. This is probably its sleeping spot. Ah, gotcha. Yep. Young river cooter. Just hanging out in some branches. Really pretty turtle. All right. I'll let you go back. Hey, right here. Looks like uh, some kind of slider. Probably a yellow-bellied slider. I'll see if I can reach down there and grab it. Uh, come here, homie. There, I gotcha. Yeah. Classic yellow belly. Got the blotch behind the eye. Missing a foot on the back. This girl's had it rough. Actually missing both feet on the back. So, I'm sorry about that. That's unfortunate, but her weight's good, seems pretty healthy, so we'll let her go. Go find yourself a nice place to hide.